Good day everybody, welcome back to the studio. So what I have here is just uh, an old piece that I didn't like so I repainted it. I've got some texture here. These were supposed to be like rocks in the in the water but anyway, did not like it, didn't turn out good as we do and I have decided that I want to um, try to fix all of my mistakes that I've made with paintings over the years and uh, you know rather than throwing them away so what I have here is uh, just a liquid pigment this one is true blue uh, I know this is more teal but this is a transparent so it's gonna work great here and I have a chameleon I absolutely love this this is like a green purple color shift and I want to put quite a bit in there um, pop you over here give that a bit of a stir just want to show you how it looks when you start stirring You can see on the side of the cup there's a bit of purple, there's a bit of uh, like a brownish red or a copper rather. There's green, but it's a really nice olive kind of green. I love it. So I, I wanted it here. I um, just want to show you before I start. These are the jars that they're going to come in. They are 20, 20 milliliter jars and you fit about 10 grams in there. Let's start. I want to zhuzh this up with some shells and all kinds of things. So what I'm going to do is just going to pop a little bit of resin here. I've just marked the area just with some PVA glue. I suppose I could pour it every... I just wanted that bit there to be my sand, which I'm going to put in there. So what you can see here, if you can see it up there, that's just PVA glue gonna stay there and it's not worrying me at all but I just marked the areas where I want to put stuff my shells and things and I suppose you can mix these shells with your resin but I like to just pop them over straight over resin and then just um, spread them around a bit that's what I do just stick my fingers in there and they'll that's going to be my sand I have all these shells in the shop so you don't have to be searching anywhere I've got them right here so I'll put a little bit more in there spread it up there just makes things easier and quicker I have to be quick because I don't have a, a lot of battery in my camera so I've got to hurry I would prefer if the resin was a little bit thicker for me but I really can't wait and I want to get on with it these shells are just gorgeous because they themselves are iridescent and they're just kind of shimmering and changing colors as well right so that is that my little bit of earth I want to put here which is this nice nice tone that changes I won't push it to the edge just yet so I'm worried about it leaking and I don't want to waste any of this goodness so see how there it just looks different again looks golden look over that way oh dearie 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 me okay so I want to put some more sand over here I think I think I might push this over that way a bit just to separate them a little bit okay and then over here I want to have a little bit more sand so I suppose it's just like making a bit of a collage you know or a mosaic so that's what I'm doing popping it on there I'm gonna pop some more sand there which is my shell, my crushed shell. Work it down there and all the way here, and then you're just going to spread it. So 
Right, it's going to join over here. I don't mind if there's a little bit of that colour in mixed in with that. It's all good. There we go. Joining nicely. There we go. And I've got some quartz, some finely crushed quartz that I just want to sprinkle over here. Just in between, kind of just to fill in those areas. And it also gives me some extra texture, which is kind of different to what I have here. There we go. Might even go down here just to try and stop that from seeping through the tape. Righto, that is that. Now when I go over with my more, more resin, it should move it a bit. Right, that is done. Okay, I just want to put some more of this pigment in here. And I, I'm going to mix up some of my holographic white chameleon as well. Let's get another card. Some resin in there because this one is just so nice especially when it's mixed with uh, something else so not too much of that these little spoons are great too see I don't know if you can see that see it changing from white to purple or violet rather it's really nice in I go I want to put too much in there. Oh, I've already put too much in there. I wanted it to be a little bit more transparent, but it just does something with other colours. It's just amazing how it works. Let's get a normal stick to stir. I should have put more. I can get some more resin in there and then just go just gives it that glistening beautiful like a mother of pearl effect it's really pretty I have this one I just have to sort out the labels and everything and then it will be in the shop soon oopsie Mix it in with that one. I might just use my finger to tap that a little bit. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Anywho, uh, let's go. I still got some of this left, but that's all right. I'll use it for something else. I'm going to go with this lovely blue. And I'm kind of going to go everywhere with it, I think. But mainly up here. This is true blue. And we're just going to kind of spread it around a bit. So it should be pretty thin. Okay. Let me go around and see. It's, it's how I want it. Nice and see-through. And it's nice and thin as well. Go everywhere like that. Looks like I'm really just slopping it on, and that's exactly what I'm doing. It's only because I'm rushing. Like that. 
that. That's good. Please don't leak. Please don't leak. And then I'm going to get some of this clear and work it over here. I don't have any white mixed because I wasn't planning on actually doing any painting. I was planning on just putting some shells on here, which I should really stick to my plan, shouldn't I? That's what I should do. Okay, this is nice even just having those kind of stripes creates nice effects. Right, let me just, what to do, what to do, um, get some of this nice shell, but I won't, I'm going to put it in my hand because I need control. This is uh, a brown, black, also very iridescent kind of, I just want to put it over the top of these little bumps here and turn them into like rocks and I will I'll go over it with more resin it's no problem ah they're supposed to go there sometimes they just fall with it where they want to fall which is fine These also have different colours in them too, but mainly um, earth, earth colours, you know, like a tan and, oh gosh, that's nice. Blonk. There you go, one fell over there. I don't really want you there, so go back this way. Oh, this one fell up there. What happened here? Was not supposed to happen. Okay, so that's pretty good. That there's already had some sort of a like a, what is it? I might even put a little bit more of this. Just scatter it over here. Could be another little beachy area. Just like that. Just gives you an illusion of it because I had it like a stain there so I just cover that right 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 I'm gonna go over actually I will use this beautiful beautiful holographic chameleon look at that just let it slide down and then I would we'll do a little swipe so it doesn't look too deliberate down there Supposed to be a real quickie. Gosh. Just gives it something extra. Seriously, you'll love this one. I can see purple. I can even see blue. See this on that little uh, shell there just looks like a gorgeous turquoise. Don't know if you can see it from up there, but. Now I just want to kind of go like this. Should probably use a stick. Actually, I don't mind that. It just looks like a little beach around it, a bit of water. Let's do some more. Oh my goodness. Totally not what I was planning on doing, but anywho. I wanted to fill it with <laughs> shells. Oh dear, I don't think I'll be doing that. Let's see if I do this, what will happen? Maybe I can make a little wave. Who knows? Let's see. I'll get my torch. Actually, get my smaller torch. Ooh. It is a pearl, so it's just kind of spreading. But it's not bad. 
Not bad. No, I don't mind that at all, and I don't mind that there either. Okay, let's go now with this. Finish it off. Bounces off that resin, doesn't it? It's going to give it a really pretty shimmer. And I want to do the same thing over here, but I want to go like this. And you could mix inks with these as well. Why not turn it into another colour? It's still going to be nice and shimmery like this. Alright, that's nice. I do need to <coughs> pop something up here. Let me think about that one. Okay, so what I decided to do is... Um, pop some more of these shells like I could go with the white and create some more of that up here or make a a wave or whatever but I won't I'm just going to make it like a, an aerial view and I'm just going to pop some of these up here just to give that very random as you can see I just wherever they want to fall and then I'm just going to spread them out a bit and that can be another little island. Just like that. Looks beautiful. Beautiful shells. And maybe some more of this black in there. I call it black brown, but it's got other earthy colours. It's actually quite nice. You can go up there a little bit. Maybe down here. Like that. And I think that will be it. I do want some more of this stuff over the top of that. And do the same sort of thing with the, the effect. Now that's sort of falling down. It's just like the waves hitting those rocks and the sand and that and just falling down like that. And that is it. I don't really want to do a lot. Maybe a little bit of this one here. Some seaweed or something like that. bit of something in there. I'm going to use my fingers to... Dab that down a bit. And I think I'm going to leave it alone. It's still quite runny. So it's going to be a little bit tricky to sort of manage it and try and move it now because I want to do something else but that's all right uh, I think I'm I want to add some more of this blue just one drop going in it because I've got some empty bits there that need covering are we still on Yay. and I also might want to just go like this just with my stick and run this blue down this way it just gives it an illusion that there's water there. Somewhere a bit more, a bit less. But this bit here needs to be sorted out. A 
and I hope it doesn't so far so good all right I'm gonna leave it alone now I think I'm just gonna leave it alone I know I do say that a lot but keep seeing things that need my attention So no torching, just going to give it a little, actually, should I spritz it with a, might create some extra effects, no, I don't want any effects. Okay, that is good, check this out, can you see that colour shifting, I don't know if you can see it, but I don't want to drip. Sometimes the light has to hit it exactly right. And I might mix some of it with my blue here and see what I get. Whatever was in the spoon. Wow. See that? Whatever, there's just a tiny little bit in the spoon. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. That's it from me. I shall uh, see you again tomorrow when this this sets and I'll show you the the end result of it fingers crossed bye for now okay welcome back here we go she's done and I love I love this painting now so much better everything's kind of stuck and um, looking beautiful and shimmery and glossy so I was thinking of going around with some acrylic pens and just maybe painting some waves but but I won't I'm just gonna leave it subtle like this I, I think simple is best and this is pretty simple I think so anywho that's what I did and uh, hopefully you will be inspired to do something using these lovely shells or whatever you have to embellish and fix your painting so they look gorgeous Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another video with some more ideas. Bye bye.